Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn the basics of conditional formatting in Excel by highlighting cells using certain rules. First of all, why would you want to use conditional formatting for your data? Whenever you present a report like this, there is so much information that your readers may not know what to read first. When you use conditional formatting, you highlight certain cells, thereby making it easy for your audience to look at those cells first and then get their insights. So conditional formatting makes it easier for your audience to make sense of the information that you provide to them. Now, there are a few simple rules that make it easy for you to apply conditional formatting on any data. Let us see those rules one after another. First, take a look at this data set. Here we have the names of some students, their scores, certain significant dates, and the remarks on the scores. Now, let us say I want to highlight all the scores which are more than 80. The way I can do that is, first I need to select all the cells where I want to apply conditional formatting. Then, let me go to conditional formatting here. Go to the first option called Highlight Cells Rules and then go to this first option called Greater Than. When I click on that, I get this dialog box. Here I can define the value greater than which I will have a certain highlight. Since in this case we want to highlight the values which are more than 80, I've entered the value here and this is the default formatting, which is light red fill with dark red text. You can see that this is the way the highlighting is done. Excel allows us to highlight these cells in different ways. For example, instead of using red color, which doesn't normally signify excellent performance, I can choose green color. So I can go here and say green fill with dark green text and you can see that we have a different way in which these cells are highlighted. All I need to do to apply this formatting is to say OK. Now the readers would know in a quick glance which are the students who have performed well in the exam. Now I want to highlight those scores which are less than 40. To do that, I can select all the cells once again and then go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules and I have less than option here. So when I click on this, just as I did for greater than, here we have the option to define less than a certain value. In this case, it is 40 and then we can retain this default one which is light red fill with dark red text and this highlights the poor scores and I say OK. Now you can see that we have applied two different conditional formats for the cells here. Now, if at any point of time you want to clear the conditional formatting that has already been applied, then you can go to conditional formatting and come all the way down here called clear rules and you can choose to clear rules from selected cells or you can even clear rules from the entire worksheet itself. In this case, I want to say clear rules from selected cells and now we have the data the way it was before. Now, the way greater than and less than function is the way between functions as well. For example, if I were to choose the option called highlight sales rules and between, I can choose two limits to operate. That is, in this case, if I want to show the cases where the score has been more than 40 and less than 80, I can do that. And if I want to choose a different kind of fill, let us say yellow fill with dark yellow text and say, OK, now these are the people who have neither scored very well or have scored very poorly. So you can see that we have the option to choose the way that we want to highlight the cells. So let us select all this conditional formatting, clear rules and clear from selected cells. The same way, if you have any particular value in mind, you can even select that particular value by using equal to option and you can define the value and only those cells with that value will be highlighted from the selected cells. All right. This time, let us see a different way to highlight cells. So far, we have been using numbers to highlight cells. This time, let us try to use text to highlight cells. Now, the text that I want to highlight is in this column called Remarks. So I'm going to select all these cells here. Go to Conditional Formatting. Go to Highlight Cells Rules. And here I have the option called Text That Contains. So when I click on that option, here I can write the text or if there is any particular cell that you want to pick up the text from, you can click on this and you can choose this. Say, for example, poor. And when you click here, you can see that the cell which has the text is taken as a sample 
and wherever we have text of the similar nature or highlighted quite nicely. Let me say OK here and then let us see another way in which we can highlight cells. This time I want to highlight cells based on dates. Now dates are included here so I'm going to select all the cells where dates are written, go to conditional formatting and go to the option called a date occurring. Now there are only a limited number of options available when we go to a date occurring and the options are you can choose to have yesterday highlighted, today highlighted, tomorrow highlighted or in the last seven days, last week, etc. So these are the various ways in which you can highlight your cells. For example, if I want to show only all the cells in this month, by that I mean the month of August, I can go to this month and say OK and only those cells which are in August are shown here. The same way I can go to conditional formatting, go to highlight cells rules, a date occurring and if I want to highlight say whatever dates that have occurred last week, I can click on this and I can say OK but this time I would choose a different way in which I can use the formatting. Let us say I want to use the formatting called yellow fill with dark yellow text, I can say OK. Now there is another thing that I want you to note. It is possible for me to precisely define the way my formatting needs to be. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us clear all the formatting that we have already done by going to conditional formatting, clear rules and say clear rules from entire sheet. Let us start afresh. Let us say I want to show all the cells where good is written but the formatting that I want to use is only those cells need to be in bold font. Let me select all these cells. Let us go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, text that contains. In this case, I want to choose good. And here, if I go down, I can see that there is this option called custom format, which is the last option here, where I have even more control in the way in which I can have the formatting. For example, if I want these cells to have bold font, I can choose this one here called bold and here you can see a preview. If I want these cells to have a border, I can go to border and say outline and those cells will have an outline. And when I say OK here and say OK here, you can see that only those cells are given a border and bold font. So you have far more control in the way in which you can format cells. Now, if at any point of time I want to know which are the cells where conditional formatting is applied, all I need to do is to select all the cells where I think that I need to get the information from and then go to find and select from the home tab and then go to the option called conditional formatting. Only those cells where conditional formatting is applied is highlighted. If you want to just highlight those cells, you can go to the same find and select, go to go to special and choose the option here called conditional formats and say OK and those cells where conditional format is applied is highlighted and you can always do anything else with those selected cells. Now the one last thing that I want to highlight before we close this video is it is possible for you to highlight the duplicates using conditional formatting. For example, let us take this row, right click copy and let us create a duplicate here. Now we have two instances where this person's name is highlighted. Now if I want to know if there are any duplicate entries in this column, all I need to do is to select all these cells, go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules and go to this option called duplicate values and the duplicate values are highlighted like this. You just need to say OK. Now the best part is, you can even sort data based on the colors. So if I were to select all this and go to data, sort and sort by and I say name and instead of cell values, if I say cell color and if I say the option, the option is this and it needs to be on top and say OK, I can have only the duplicate values come up and I can do whatever I want with these entries. So that was about the basics of conditional formatting where you can highlight cells based on certain rules which are very simple. In the next video, I'll talk about top or bottom rules which is slightly complicated than highlight cells rules and I will also talk about this option here called new rule where you can write a formula to apply conditional formatting. Hope you found the information in this video helpful. So did you like the video? 
If yes, then you will surely like our 5-day mini course called 10 Offbeat Excel Tips to Save Time. The course has simple step-by-step -step tutorial videos to master some of the most useful Excel tricks. As a bonus, you will also get a downloadable printable file of Excel shortcuts for Windows and Mac. All you need to do to join this mini course is to click on the link in the description box below the video and you will be enrolled right away. If you like the video, please encourage us by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. We publish two PowerPoint videos and five Excel videos every week and these are the days. So if you want to excel in Excel and PowerPoint, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified about any new videos we post on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.